When talking about politics in Nigeria, the majority of names you'll hear are male names. Since independence in Nigeria, no Nigerian woman has made the presidential seat. Only two women have managed to be governor and deputy governor respectively. According to LSE, Nigeria has the lowest number of female political representation in sub-Saharan Africa. While this is a poor record for a country where women make almost half the population, there are some women in Nigerian politics that are doing well. In this video, we will be discussing the top 6 Nigerian women in politics. You're welcome to InfoBustup YouTube channel, where we keep you up to date with the latest news, trends, and info in Nigeria and Africa. If you're new to this channel, do consider to subscribe so that you don't miss any gist. Now let's get straight to business. 1. Obi Ezekwesili The first woman on this list is the highly celebrated Obi Ezekwesili. She currently works as a senior economic advisor and public analyst. Obi Ezekwesili served as a federal minister of solid minerals from 2005 to 2006. She was then appointed as the federal minister of education and was in office from 2006 to 2007. Madam Due Process, as she is also called, was appointed as vice president of the World Bank's African region after serving as minister of information. Obi Ezekwesili played a very major role in the hashtag Bring Back Our Girls in 2014. This earned us some pressure from the Nigerian government as she was once detained by the SSS. Nevertheless, it also earned her a Forbes Woman Africa Social Influencer Award. The celebrated politician ran for the Nigerian presidential seat in 2019, an election that Muhammad Buhari won. 2. Ngozi Okonjo Iwela on the 1st of March 2021, Madame Ngozi Okonjo Iwela took over local and international headlines when she began working as the Director General of the World Trade Organization. This was the first time a woman and an African would hold such an esteemed position. Ngozi Okonjo Iwela's first major political office was during the Obasanjo regime when she became the Federal Minister of Finance in 2003. In 2006, she was made the Nigerian Minister of Foreign Affairs for about three months. Madame Ngozi was again made Federal Minister of Finance in 2011 during the Good Luck Jonathan's regime. She left the office in 2015 after Mohamed Buhari won the presidential election. In 2020, she was nominated as the Nigerian candidate for the WHO Director General position. In 2015, February 2021, she won the appointment after a series of events. 3. Kemi Adeoshun Kemi Adeoshun took over from Ngozi Okonjo Iwala as the Federal Minister of Finance in 2015. She spent most part of her life in London where she got her education and also started a career. She initially served as the Commissioner of Finance in Ogun State from 2011 to 2015. However, she was forced to resign from a Federal Ministry office in 2018 following investigations of an NYSE certificate forgery scandal. Kemi Adeoshun was the first woman to occupy the office of the Ogun State Commissioner of Finance. She contributed more during her tenure as the State Commissioner than as a Federal Minister. Notably, she helped boost the economic status of Ogun State via the then Governor's Mission to Rebuild Project. Upon resigning as the Federal Minister of Finance, Kemi Adeoshun was succeeded by Zainab Ahmed. 4. Stella Odua Stella Odua was appointed as the Federal Minister of Aviation in 2011, where she served until 2014. She had a tertiary education in the United States, after which she returned to Nigeria to work with the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC, in the 90s. Stella Odua left the Federal Corporation to launch the Sea Petroleum and Gas Company Limited SPG. She currently serves as a senator representing Anambra North Senatorial District since 2015. With this, she was among the just eight women to claim senatorial seats in that year's election. She contested for the seat a second time in the 2019 elections and she won again. Stella Odua is a renowned female politician in Nigeria. 
In 2013, she was appointed alongside the Senate President to attend the papal inauguration of Pope Francis. She is a member of the People's Democratic Party PDP. 5. Kema Chikwe Kema Chikwe served Nigeria at the federal level in different ministries. In 1999 to 2001, she was the Federal Minister of Transport and from 2001 to 2003, she was the Federal Minister of Aviation. Currently, Kema Chikwe is the National Women Leader of the People's Democratic Party PDP. At a post in her career, Kema Chikwe took the bold step of running for governorship in Imo State, although she lost. Afterwards, the University of Nigeria Nsuka graduate was appointed as the Nigerian ambassador to Ireland in 2009. Taking away her political career, Kema Chikwe is a celebrated journalist, publisher, and editor. She once worked for Primetime Limited as a publisher and chief executive. Having contributed to lots of works, she also has published about three books. It's worthy to note that Kema Chikwe is the mother of Nigerian rapper Nito C. 6. Abike Dabiri Abike Dabiri is the incumbent chairman and CEO of Nigerian Diaspora Commission. She had earlier served in the Federal House of Representatives, where she represented the Ikorodu constituency in Lagos State. To prove her political elegance, Abike Dabiri was appointed by the President of Nigeria, Muhammadu Bari, as his special senior assistant on foreign affairs and diaspora in 2018. During her tenure in the House of Reps, she sponsored many major bills including the Freedom of Information Bill, Nigerian Infant Health Welfare Bill, and Nigerian Diaspora Commission Bill. Abike Dabiri is also a well-educated scholar. She had several certificates including an English language degree, Masters and PGD in Mass Communication. And there goes our list for the top 6 Nigerian women involved in politics. The bottom line here is Nigeria needs to welcome more women into its political system. While that is expected, the six Nigerian women listed in this article have contributed their quota to the political system. They stand as mentors and as an inspiration for all the Nigerian women who have interests in political offices. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. To get other latest info, hit the subscribe button and you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching and see you in our next one.